Now I won't lie to you guys, I was originally going to upload this video as a glimmer farm because it is amazing for glimmer and earning that glimmer when you spend all of it on buying bounties to earn that XP. But upon farming this certain spot, I realised I was not only earning a lot of glimmer, I was earning a lot of loot too, including catalysts. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. If you do enjoy it, leave a like, it really helps out. And subscribe if you want to see more daily Destiny 2 videos. Now to farm this spot, this what could be uh, classed as a loot cave, because I mean it's just a constant, and I mean a constant spawning of enemies with inside their room and they just shoot down upon them and literally just drop glimmer for days and loot for days. So yeah, I'll class it as a loot cave in the theoretical meaning of a loot cave destiny wise. I mean, we go back to destiny one, remember that loot cave, absolutely incredible. We haven't seen anything like that really in destiny two, but this is as close as we're going to get. So as well as glimmer, legendaries, rares, catalysts, you also earn primes here, which is incredible too. So this could be a farming spot for literally everything. I didn't have an exotic drop, but I weren't here that long. I was just trying to get uh, a few thousand glimmer and I got it literally I mean I got about 35,000 in about 10 minutes which I think is pretty cool so yeah like I said it was originally going to be a glimmer spot but I just noticed a loot drop in and I was like wow okay so to do this you need to have the quest not completed of risk reward which is located on the EDZ now if you've done it on your main character don't worry you can always do this on your second character it's all good so upon loading up this mission, your quest will be to take out three captains. Once you've killed the captains, your quest will be to take out the walker tank. Once you take out the walker tank, your quest will be to locate a locked door. But forget all that. Don't worry about none of that. We're going to farm a spot with inside of this quest. And when we're done, we're just going to back out. We're not going to complete it so we can come back at a later date. So once you spawn into this, you will notice a spider tank or a walker tank located in the middle of the divide area, the EDZ area that we used to visit a lot in Destiny 1. So around in this walker tank are three buildings. Each of these buildings has a constant spawn of fallen adds. Now the one building you want to concentrate on is this one right here. So upon spawning in and looking a lot slightly down to your left, this is the building you want to concentrate on. And all you want to do is take out ads around the building, stand on top of it and shoot down into the building as they spawn. Don't worry if they escape the room because what they do, they jump up directly to your right. So you can just take them out as simple as that. Now I would say put on a ghost shell which gives you additional glimmer but that doesn't seem to be the case. The jagged shell doesn't seem to work here for some strange reason unless it just isn't activating but for me it didn't seem to be working. But nonetheless what you can put on are the Rainmaker consumables which last 4 hours per one. Close range precision kills have a chance to create a shower of glimmer. Now because these ads are constantly spawning here people you can just absolutely murder them. Now the loadout I suggest you using is the bad juju because obviously it stacks damage, it reloads on a kill and it's easy to hit headshots with. And with this I'd pair yourself with a fusion rifle or a shotgun just to take out the captain that commonly spawns amongst these enemies. I mean it takes a little bit too long to kill with the bad juju and it slows down the process so having a shotgun or a fusion rifle you can quickly switch to or even a heavy weapon like a rocket launcher whatever just to kill him so you can get on with the farm you are good to go. Now you do earn XP here also but not enough to call this an XP farming spot. Well it is great for glimmer, it's great for prime engrams for damn sure. I mean I got mine here within 2 minutes of coming here and it seems to be amazing for loot too. So use it for whatever means you need, glimmer, prime engrams, legendaries, blues, whatever and I hope it helped you out. What I did notice was much like the dev room K strat. It seems to drop blues that fall alongside your gear power level, not including your artifact. Now this could be just me, it could be the level I am, but it seems to be that way. Now if you don't know what I'm talking about, the Devrim K strat. Basically, Devrim K is one of the only vendors in the game whose engrams upon you cashing in those materials will drop gear that matches your power level, not including your artifact. So if you're a power level 910 but have 5 plus levels on your artifact, meaning you're a power level 915, Devrim K will drop gear at 910. And it works brilliantly for balancing things out because obviously if your power level was a 910 or a 915 or whatever, 9 times out of 10, oh, you've always got one piece higher than another piece. So you could have a 915 helmet but a 905 class item. And while Devrim K is dropping gear that matches your 
gear power level not including your artifact which would be a 910 for instance getting a 910 class item will obviously boost you up and it seems as though this does the same thing with blues they drop seemingly alongside your power level not including your artifact so it could be good for that too but like i said it could be just me but yeah guys use this how you please it's a great great spot it's a great great method of earning glimmer prime engrams legendaries blues whatever and on that note guys we have come to the end of the video if you guys enjoyed it leave a like it really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more daily destiny videos be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully i will see you on that next one